How to Become Rich 7 Smart Strategies for Building Wealth Self-made wealthy people don't become rich by accident. Instead, they often take intentional actions to make money and build wealth. If you're ready to take control of your finances, choosing and committing to a step-by-step -step plan often helps increase your wealth. 1. Identify your goals Before you get started on becoming rich, devise a financial plan. Here are a few questions you may ask yourself as you put your plan together. What does being rich mean? Is there a particular net worth I'd like to hit? What is my monthly budget goal? Am I looking to put money aside to invest or to pay off debt? Am I looking to achieve early retirement? Get specific with your answers so you know your exact goals. Once you have your big picture vision established, break it down into smaller, short-term goals that are easier to achieve. By creating this roadmap, you should have a clearer sense of what your destination is and how to get there. 2. End your high interest debt. Nothing drags down your hard work like high interest debt. Total consumer debt balances increased 5.4% between 2020 and 2021. According to Experian, one of the three national credit bureaus, debt with high interest rates, such as credit card debt, can be challenging to pay back. Not only are you paying the principal amount you borrowed, but you're often paying hefty interest charges as well. To take control of your debt, start by listing all your loans from highest interest rate to lowest. Consider making extra payments toward the original loan amount on your high interest debts first to minimize the total amount of interest you might owe by the time the debt is paid off. You'll likely need to specify that the extra payment is for the original loan amount. Ask your lender if there is a certain process you should follow when using the strategy. Once you've paid off that first debt in full, move on to the loan with the second highest interest rate. You're spending less money on interest charges and keeping more money in your pocket by targeting high rate debts. 3. Start budgeting and saving money To pay off debt and hit your financial goals, it's important to learn how to manage your money. Follow these steps to implement a basic budgeting plan. Identify costs, write down your income streams and expenses, and calculate how much you make or spend on average for each item on your list. Keep track of major spending categories, examine how much you spend each month on categories such as rent, utilities, and groceries. Don't forget to also account for discretionary spending, such as eating out or buying a new book. Look for areas to improve. Once you have a bird's eye view of your monthly cash flow, find places where you can cut back to save extra money. Maybe you can cook at home more often than eating out at restaurants, or perhaps there are free activities you could do in your area to spend less on entertainment. Use the savings you make to build an emergency fund, grow a nest egg, pay down debt, or even invest. 4. Pay yourself first. Without enough money for emergencies, you risk getting into a tough financial spot if an unexpected expense arises. If you don't have cash on hand, you may charge the expense to your credit card or take out a loan, further impacting your finances by increasing your debt. To bolster your savings, make sure to pay yourself first. This means setting aside a portion of your monthly paycheck to put into a savings account so you don't spend it elsewhere. You may even automate this process so that it's done before the money becomes available to spend. You could set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to a savings account. If your employer uses direct deposit for your paycheck, you may choose to split the deposit with a portion of your paycheck going directly into a savings account and the remainder in your checking account. 5. Start investing as soon as possible Investing your money is often one of the best ways to build wealth over time. Assuming that your investments are successful, if you keep all of your money in a basic bank account, you risk devaluing your cash due to inflation. Investments are often a smarter way to save. Invest in stocks, mutual funds, or exchange-traded funds ETFs, to join the market as early as possible and take advantage of the power of compound returns. For example, let's say you invest $1,000 per month starting at age 30. With a 7% rate of return, you'd have over $170,000 after 10 years, $500,000 after 20 years, and $1.15 million after 30 years. The earlier you invest, the more time you have to earn compound interest. 6. 
Increase your income. There's only so much you can save with the income you have. If you want to accelerate your debt payoff and increase your investment contributions, look for ways to make money and increase what you earn. For example, if you are content with your current employer, consider asking for a raise or working toward a promotion. Speak with your manager about your career goals and find out what steps you can take to progress towards them. Aside from your primary income, you can also consider one of the best side hustles. Whether you drive for Uber, freelance online, or start a blog, there are many creative ways to turn your talent and entrepreneurial spirit into extra income. 7. Have the right mindset. If you're used to financial struggle, you might not believe that becoming wealthy is possible for you. This limiting belief makes every step much more difficult to achieve. That's why cultivating a wealth-building mindset is essential to learning how to become rich. If you take consistent, intentional effort to be successful and grow your wealth. This isn't to say that there aren't inequities in society or that everyone begins at the same starting line. Some people face far bigger systemic obstacles than others, and some groups have historically been denied opportunities to build wealth and pass it down to their descendants. But if you believe that becoming rich is impossible for you, you may not take the steps needed to achieve this goal. Cultivating an abundance mindset and letting go of limiting beliefs aids you in your efforts to build wealth. Hope you liked this video. Until then, see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we continue to provide business and finance related videos that will undoubtedly increase your knowledge of the business world.